What's up, you guys? Happy Thursday. How are we today? All right, so I want to talk today about literally the one thing you need to do to change your life and to change it forever, right? So I've been thinking a lot about just life, right? Always pondering life and growth and and really, you know, spending time with people that are at a different place in life, you know, that are excelling in different ways and, and paying attention to, to what they do, right? So I wanted to think, always be learning from people that have done things that you want to do, right? Success leaves clues. So if there's anything you want to change in your life, the one thing you need to do is just be consistent, right? It's just, it's so simple, right? Everybody wants it to be hard and we want to have these magic tips and it's not, right? It's literally just be consistent, right? Like if you want to change your physical body, be consistent on what you put inside of it, how you take care of it, how you mitigate your stress, how you sleep, the things that you think, right? Like you just consistently over time have to do that, right? If you're in an unhealthy place or somewhere that you don't, that you don't necessarily want to be, how'd you get there? Consistently making decisions that don't support your health, right? So if you want to change it, it doesn't happen overnight, right? You have to consistently make changes to change your physical body, right? So I've been working with a lot of, um, you know, CEOs, people that are crushing it in life. And they're like, I just know there's that little bit more. How do I get to that next level? So I realized, and I started calling them the power pillars, right? So there's four power pillars in my opinion. So it's mindset slash mindfulness, because I think they go together. But like, what are you thinking every day? How mindful are you of, of where you're at, what you're thinking, the thoughts that are going in your head, your awareness around them, right? So sort of like mindset mindfulness. Um, there's your physical body. Um, I'm a huge believer that if you're not taking care of your physical body, that you are not at the best that you could be, right? If you want to be a top CEO, if you want to be crushing it in the sales game, if you want to be the best mom you can be, if you're not physically taking care of yourself, you can't do that, right? And like some of you are going to disagree with that, but I don't think you can. I've done it where I'm not taking care of myself physically like I want to. And then I've done all of the things really well. And I guarantee you are better at all those things when you're taking care of yourself, right? So there's your mental, there's your physical, uh, there's your emotional. And this is one that I see so many really successful people missing out on, right? It's like they've gotten to where they are because they've kind of taken all their stuff and they packed it away. And they're like, I just got to put my head down and work, which is, it gets you there. But then all of a sudden they get to this place and they're still not fulfilled. They're wondering why they still don't feel successful. They still don't feel abundant even though they have millions of dollars, right? And so it's like, they're not dealing with their emotional body and they haven't really looked at their underlying beliefs and the stuff that we just need to look at so we can expand them, right? And all of this, you guys, it's awareness to expansion. So um, there's the emotional body. And then the last pillar is the spiritual body, right? And and it, I don't have any... I don't care what you believe in, whether it's God, the universe, the divine, whatever it is, but I do believe that most of us believe there's something outside of us, something bigger than us, and you need to have a connection to that, right? Because when you can understand that connection, you start to realize that like you're in co-creation with the universe, with God, with whatever it is, and you understand that there really is this quantum field and this quantum physics where energy is everything and everything you do creates an energy, right? And so what I've seen though is that people will consistently do one right? So they're like, I'm going to go all in. And obviously we own a gym. So we see a lot of this, like I'm going all in on my physical health. Well, if you think about if it's a tabletop, right? One leg gets higher and then everything falls off the table because, okay, you got this physical, you, you took care of the physical, but you forgot the mental and the emotional and the spiritual, right? So then we're like, oh yeah, I got to shift this way. And then it does this, right? The table catches up and everything falls off this way. And so what I've really started doing with my one-to-one -one clients is going, how do we consistently raise each of those at one time, right? Maybe there's a little bit of focus towards the one that's the, the that's lacking the most in the beginning. But if you really want to change your life and you really want to be consistent, all of those need to increase at the same time, right? And it doesn't have to be this like life overhaul. But if you consistently, you know, make 1% changes a day or a week or whatever, in each of those places, and you get more connected to, to, to God, to universe, you start to make better physical choices, you go to bed earlier, you hydrate more, you eat more nourishing foods, whatever it is, right? You start to understand your emotions, you look at beliefs, you start to really visualize where you want to go, um, you know, and then you're taking care of like, what are you thinking? Are you, are you present? Are you mindful? And you start to move those all together. You're going to see these massive jumps, right? And that's what's so cool about this work is it's like, you don't have to do 
this much work to get this many results, right? Like you can do this much work and you get this many results because they, they compound on each other and they grow together. So if you're feeling like, gosh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so close to where I want to be and really life is pretty good, but there's these little pieces that are missing and you're not sure how to execute those pieces. Look at those four and see where, like where, which one of those is not quite where it needs to be. And then look at how do you, how do you have to move that up? Right? Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, I did just open up two spots for one-to-one -one coaching where we'll deep dive into this and really take you to that next level. So if you're somebody that's like, I'm, I'm just, I'm crushing it in life, but I know there's more and I know there's a little bit more there. Um, that's, that's who I'm looking to work with. Right. I, 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 I love the clients I have right now. It's so fun to see these massive changes in just the smallest things. So if you're really ready to take your life to the next level and really get all of those pill pillars bolstered up and where they need to be, let me know. But, um, if you're doing this on your own, I hope that that helps. If you have any questions or you need any tips on how to, uh, shift any of those pillars, uh, let me know. And I hope you guys have a great Thursday. We'll talk to you soon.